Hi there, and welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to use awesome graphs for Bitbucket to export commits and pull requests to a CSV file in two different ways. Before we begin, let me say a few words about awesome graphs for Bitbucket. It is an easy to use app that transforms invisible engineering activities into actionable insights and reports, empowering managers and their teams to understand the development process deeper and export data to build custom reports. Now let's explore the first way how to export commits or pull requests from Bitbucket using awesome graphs. To start, go to the People page in the header of Bitbucket and click All Users in the drop-down menu. By default, the page displays commits made within a month. However, you can choose a more extended custom period. You can also select a particular team or users or combine these options. Here you can also choose what to export, commits or pull requests. The selected filters will apply to the data exported. When all filters are set, go to the export menu at the top right corner, click on it and select CSV. You will receive a CSV file with filtered data. Let's look at what information you will get with the help of awesome graphs. When exporting commit data to a CSV file, you'll get a list of commits with their details like creation date, author's name and email, repository and project name, lines of code added and deleted. Exporting pull requests to CSV shows the pull request details, such as their creation date, author's and reviewer's name, repository and project name, and their state. Another way to download commit and pull request data is by using REST API. It allows you to export data at various levels, global, project, repository, and user. Let's look at an example of exporting commits at a project level to a CSV file using the REST API. First, select REST API in the export menu at the top right corner. From the left menu, choose commits, project, Export commits from the project to CSV. Then using a curl request, you can export commits. Please note, you need to add the name of your project in this request instead of project key. By default, data is exported for the last 30 days. However, you can set a time frame up to one year with since date and until date parameters. Similarly, you can export pull request data. Now that you know how to export commits and pull requests to CSV, you can integrate this data into other applications and automate your workflows. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below the video.